टेम्परेचर ट्रांसड्यूसर इज ए डिवाइस दैट कन्वर्ट्स द थर्मल एनर्जी इन टू इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल एक्सप्लेन द वेरियस टेक्निक्स यूज फॉर टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ टेम्परेचर ट्रांसड्यूसर is to measure heat of any object in readable format the temperature transducer is a vital component of industrial process and any other process automation even your room ac also uses temperature transducer to maintain the cooling of your room in general the temperature transducers can be classified into two categories contact type and non contact type in contact type temperature transducer the sensing element of temperature transducer is in the direct contact with the substance of which temperature is being measured in non contact type temperature transducer the sensor is not in the direct contact with the substance they measure temperature by detecting the infrared thermal energy emitted by material being measured The contact type temperature transducers can be classified based on their working principle. There are four types of contact type temperature transducers: thermistor, resistance thermometer or RTD, thermocouples, and integrated circuit temperature transducer. Let us talk about the thermistor. The thermistor is also known as thermal resistor. it is a type of resistor whose electrical resistance changes with the change in temperature although all the resistors resistance change slightly with the change in temperature but the thermistor is designed to be sensitive to the temperature changes the thermistors are extensively used in temperature measurement because they are cheap and robust way of temperature measurement the thermistors are made of metal oxide mixer like nickel manganese cobalt and copper they are coated with glass there are two types of thermistor negative temperature coefficient or ntc thermistor and positive temperature coefficient or ptc thermistor in a ntc thermistor when the temperature is increased the resistance of thermistor will decrease and when the temperature decreases the resistance of thermistor will increased while in ptc thermistor when the temperature is increased the res the resistance of thermistor will also increased and when the temperature decreases the resistance will also decrease applications of thermistor the thermistors are widely used in digital thermometers in automotive application to measure the oil and coolant temperature in car and trucks in household appliances like microwave ac and fridge in circuit protection in battery pack temperature monitoring and to measure the thermal conductivity of electrical material resistance thermometer the resistance thermometer or rtds are very similar to thermistor the rtds and thermistor have varying resistance dependent on the temperature the temperature measurement range of rtd is minus 200 degree centigrade to 650 degree centigrade the rtd provide high accuracy as compared to thermistor they are made from high purity conducting metals such as copper platinum or nickel wound onto a coil their electrical resistance change with the change in temperature same as thermistor the rtds are more sensitive and affordable as compared to thermistor and thermocouples 
the rtd work on the principle that the electrical resistance of a metal changes with the change in its temperature the thermistor also work on the same principle there are two main types of rtd wire wound rtd and thin film rtd the wire wound rtds are built using a small diameter wire typically platinum which is either wound onto a coil and packaged inside a ceramic mandrel or it is wound around the outside ceramic housing and coated with an insulating material the wire wound rtds have higher accuracy for larger temperature range thin film rtd in thin film rtds a fine layer of platinum is deposited on the ceramic flat then a platinum film and connections are sealed together with a glass layer thin film rtds have lower accuracy as compared with wire wound rtds let's talk about the thermocouple the thermocouple working principle is based on seebeck effect this effect says that when a closed circuit is formed by joining two dissimilar metals at two junctions and these junctions are maintained at different temperature then an electromotive force is induced in this closed circuit the amount of induced emf is different for different metal combination and it is proportional to the temperature difference at two junctions the main advantage of thermocouple is their measurement range they can measure minus 200 degree centigrade to 2000 degree centigrade there are variety of thermocouples based on the dissimilar wires used in them like type j thermocouple type k thermocouple type t thermocouple type e thermocouple type n thermocouple type b thermocouple type s thermocouple and type r thermocouple we have made a detailed video on types of thermocouples and their properties the link of this video is given into the description box applications of thermocouple the thermocouple can be used for temperature measurement of furnace diesel engines gas turbine exhaust and other manufacturing process in a larger temperature range from minus 200 degree centigrade to 2000 degree centigrade integrated circuit temperature transducer the integrated circuit temperature transducers are the type of transducers made of solid state component the solid state electronic component are integrated into a ic the ic temperature sensors are very effective way to produce an analog voltage proportional to the temperature these ic temperature sensors are very affordable but they have limited temperature range to measure a temperature from minus 45 degree to 150 degree centigrade following ic temperature transducers are available lm335 it gives an output of 10 millivolt per kelvin lm34 it gives an output of 10 millivolt per degree fahrenheit and ad 592 it provides a current output of 1 micro ampere per degree kelvin now we will talk about the non contact temperature transducers in a non contact temperature transducer the sensor is not in direct contact with the substance they measure the temperature by detecting the infrared thermal energy emitted by the material being measured the non contact thermometer has a optical system to collect the energy emitted by the target the detector converts this energy to an electrical signal non contact temperature transducer is a preferred technique for small moving or inaccessible objects the non contact type temperature transducers are also known as pyrometers there are three types of non contact temperature transducers radiation pyrometer thermal imagers and optical pyrometers 
रेडिएशन पायरोमीटर द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रेडिएशन पायरोमीटर इज दैट इट सेंस द हीट रेडिएशन फ्रॉम द टारगेट हॉट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड रीड्स एंड रिकॉर्ड इट्स टेम्परेचर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ रेडिएशन फॉर मेजरिंग एनी टेम्परेचर अबाउट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड द रेडिएशन पायरोमीटर इज जनरली यूज देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रेडिएशन पायरोमीटर फिक्स फोकस टाइप रेडिएशन पायरोमीटर एंड वेरिएबल फोकस टाइप रेडिएशन पायरोमीटर द नेक्स्ट नॉन कॉन्टेक्ट टाइप टेम्परेचर ट्रांसमीटर इज थर्मल इमेजर्स द थर्मल इमेजर्स आर काइंड ऑफ ए रेडिएशन पायरोमीटर बट दे हैव सम यूनिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक अपार्ट फ्रॉम टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट द थर्मल इमेजर्स कैन मेजर टू डायमेंशनल स्पेस एंड प्रोवाइड अ एक्यूरेट पिक्चर ऑफ बोथ थर्मल सोर्स एंड स्पेस अराउंड इट द थर्मल इमेजर्स कैन बी यूज to locate a area in a code that are overheating they are also used by fire fighters to locate a people stuck in the smoke and fire they can also be used to locate heat leaks in a building with weak insulation and finally we will talk about the optical pyrometers the optical pyrometers are used to measure the temperature of those object which are too bright to see with the naked eyes the optical pyrometers has two parts optical system and a detector it work on the principle of matching the brightness of object to the brightness of filament which is placed inside the pyrometer the optical pyrometer is used for measuring temperature of furnace molten metals and other overheated material or liquids